Hello. Hello everyone. Welcome here to my YouTube channel. My name is Uju. I'm a content creator living here in the UK. I make tips on how to travel abroad, fit, lifestyle, cooking, and lots more. So if today's the first time I've seen my face, please don't touch the dial. Ensure you like, subscribe, and share my video. So, um, just before I dive right into the video, I need to tell you guys that I am appreciative of the massive love, support, the likes, the subscriptions, and all that. Thank you so much. I am very, very grateful. Today, I'm actually going to tell you guys the process involved in coming to the UK through the student route. Yeah, so the first thing you need to know is that the UK has four parts. We have the Wales, we have Scotland, we have Northern Ireland and England. So that's the first thing you need to know and you need to ask yourself which part of the UK do I want to study? Which part of the UK do I want to settle in? Because you know, there are slightly different rules in these parts of UK. Yes. So now you know, the next thing is that you need to ask yourself, am I going to start school in January? Because we have the January, um, May, June badge and also September badge. A lot of schools do their enrollments or do new fresh starts in September. I'm sure most people don't know that there yeah, schools still take people in January and May, June. I, for example, my husband is a student that started in January. Yeah, my husband started in January. Yes. So some schools still take people, still take people in January. And one thing again you need to know, you need to start your application early. Yeah, because there are some courses there, kind of hot cake. Yeah, so you need to start your application early. Example, nurses and um, most of all the science courses. You need to start your application early so that you can be shortlisted because a lot of processes are involved that you get. So the next thing is that you need to get your transcript. You need to, you don't apply to schools in the UK with your certificate. That's like your certificate, the one the school gives you, stating that you graduated with either first class, two, one, or thereabouts. No, you need to get your transcript ready. Official transcript, please, because some schools will tell you they don't take unofficial the student's copy. Why some schools will take? Yes, some schools don't mind, they take normal transcript yes so you get your transcript ready then the next thing if you're coming with your family yes they are still some will say ah <clears throat> but they said students don't come with your family. yes you can come with your family for some courses the PhD and the masters yeah you get your court marriage certificates ready which you get then you also get your birth certificates of your children yeah your children please on this note please ensure that the birth certificate you are getting for your kids is not far from when you give back to them like say you give back to your children <coughs> in may their birth certificate should not be further than that same year yes no more than six months or thereabouts please get the birth certificate of your kids then you now ask yourself what do I want to study? <laughs> What's the name of the course? Because you're coming to the UK does not mean you should pick any course you see. Yes. Because there's some courses that are marketable. There's some courses that are not marketed like <clears throat> yes. There's some courses, take it or leave it. There's some courses that are marketable. Then you also ask yourself, is it PhD? Is it masters? Is it PGD? A lot of people don't know that there's a PGD postgraduate diploma 
and that one is just six months and everybody's focusing on masters 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 and phd we have what we call postgraduate diploma that one is just six months so you can still take the route and come to the uk yes sure yes <laughs> you ask me you can inquire <clears throat> and you know six months and within a short while you are just done yes so gets you ask if it's masters or PhD you want to go for or research then as I've earlier mentioned there are some courses like let's say biomedical sciences it's called biomedical sciences here in the UK but if you're a middle scientist what they call it in, in Nigeria it's not about medical science it's called medical lab sciences you understand BLMS but here is BMS so you need to know what that course stands for <coughs> You need to know what the course is called in the UK. So you don't study course and you don't want to study. So now you know the course. Now you know the start date. Now you know all it entails. Then you need to know the tuition fee, guys. This is where the the the, the Coco Day. You need to know the tuition fee. You need to know their pattern. Do they take installment what is their installment fee like what is the installment pattern like you can ask previous students you can try try to know is the school flexible yes so you don't bring problems to the soul you need to know because you need to know how they pay their tuition fees you need to know how much is the tuition fee deposit um of course you know what the tuition fee is like the total amount of the tuition fee but you need to know the installment and ask yourself some schools will tell you you pay 50 percent of your installment before of before you enroll and my guy if you don't do it they will enroll you they're going back to nigeria <laughs> so schools don't tolerate why some schools are they they break down their installment plans into bits to encourage you pay up because you know students don't work more than 20 hours yes so they understand the fact that uh, yeah you just have to take time and encourage you to come and school you get so again if you you have to check schools because if depending on what you graduated with some schools don't take third class yes some schools still don't take two two for some courses so you need to know you need to read down study the school very well that's if you're not working with any agent but if you're working with agent the agent will brief you or tell you yes so but you can apply you are you, you can apply by yourself you don't need to get an agent but then if you need an agent then you just have to leave everything for the agent and do few of the works but if you don't have an agent you have to do the work yourself my husband for example when he was coming he didn't get an agent he didn't get any agent he did it himself and so he's mastered in it so that's it then the next thing is that you need to get your sop your sop down some courses require standard sop like you will write right some courses requires recognition of prior learning and stuff like that so you need to that's depending on the course you're going for especially if you're going for you're not going for pre-recession masters that's like switching from your field to another course and stuff like that you need to be prepared to get you need to be prepared you need to be prepared then the next thing you, as i've said you need to know if it's psc masters research phd then you need to know the duration is it six months is it gonna be two years you need to put this in mind guys you need to know this is very 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 important you need to know how long you're gonna be in the uk with student visa before it starts before you start panicking <laughs> yes that's the duration so the next thing is for you to start your application yeah yes it's funny right it's <laughs> shocking right that is just it have a transcript have a transcript get the information ready and there you go you start your admission some schools and depending on your course 
some schools we ask you to get reference letters that's from your lecturers former lecturer your former employee a former employer so or colleague so that one is easy so depending on schools why some schools don't ask you so you just start straight up you apply you apply and the uk university is not it's not tedious admission is not tedious you don't need to sort anybody you don't need to do anything once you are qualified you get your admission let me tell you if you are super qualified a lot of schools will grant you admission at this point i'll tell you don't apply to only one schools only one school apply to schools variety of schools apply to different schools don't just narrow your choice to one school because it sets you want to be in one particular part of the uk then you apply to schools in that particular part of uk yes so that when admission comes you can now make choice just like job so you apply to different schools start sending your application follow it diligently do it carefully so make sure you get the required documents they need some will say they need your wire scratch card pin some don't need it your wire is okay let me tell you some schools can give you admission with neko is shocked you abby yes some schools in the UK give admission with NICO. So you don't need to kill yourself. You don't need to panic. You don't need to bother yourself at all. Some schools give you admission with NICO. Yes. So then the school gives you admission. You get your class. The school gives you. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking into the book. There's a book. I kept the book here so I don't forget. Then you get your class. Now, if you're not sure of yourself, like you're not sure of your health, you know, you're not sure of your health, maybe you have call for anything, you're just not sure and you have a lot of money, at this point, I will encourage you to go for um, TB test. You can go for TB test in any hospital now, not the IOM hospital, just to know if you have TB. Huh? So you can start treating yourself before, before the right time. So before the negative result is needed yes so get your class as soon as sorry as soon as you, you as soon as you get the apply the school gives you admission the school gives you admission or maybe they take you through processes they give you admission the next thing they get you pay your school fees now before if you're going to use form a but i'm not sure nigerians are using form a anymore because of the way things are going, the way things, the things, the way things are going in the country, yeah, it's a PT. We can use Form A. So if you can't use Form A, just get your money ready. Please don't delay this school. As soon as you get your admission, you just pay your school fees. Pay your school fees. Please don't delay before you apply for um admission. Make sure you have your tuition fee a lot of money handy because everything happens in a g fee before you know which you are in the uk guys <laughs> so that's how it goes so you pay your fees you pay your tuition fee deposit if you have all the money you pay it so and there's there's always discount for those who pay all their fees once yes so you get your cars as soon as you get your cars that's it you are ready you are ready now when you pay before you get your cash when you pay your fees please ensure you upload your doc the receipts on your portal because everyone has portal once you want to be a student they create a portal for you that's where you upload all your documents all your necessary documents you put it there so you upload your receipts their proof of payments now we have different way of pay paying you can pay through bank transfer from nigeria or from any country of your choice anywhere in the world so you pay and that, that one may take time yes a week or so or you have a friend or you have a family in the uk or anywhere in the world that can just pay for you in pounds yes they can just pay it for you and that will be very very fast as a bank transfer within the country very 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 fast so you upload it upload the document in your app 
and you are good to go, guys. You are just good to go. Everything will just be happening from this moment. Guys, the next thing is pool for fun. Some schools will not give you class without pool for fun. Yeah, a lot of schools. No, not a lot of schools. Few schools. Yes, I did mention IELTS. My dear, this was the might. This was the, the might I had. That was why I would say I didn't come to the UK before now because I thought, ah, you write IELTS and all that. You do, if you're in Nigeria, and English is a fourth, fourth language, you know, recognized by the British, right? You don't need IELTS. Good news. <laughs> you know, and especially if you have your C6 in English language, nothing lower than C6. C6 is above. Some schools say C5. But then just apply. So I'll tell you C6, but they will still give you admission. <laughs> yes, they'll tell you C5, they will still give you admission. So just apply it will shock you. <laughs> so but then you don't need IELTS as a Nigerian, <clears throat> you don't need IELTS as anyone. And let me tell you, the IELTS is not it's not that strictly, it's not like it's not like the, the requirement is not like that of the job. Yes. So just write it if you need to write IELTS. So you get your cards, you get your cards, you proceed. There you go. So you start your proof of funds. That's it. You don't need to wait a day. Once you get the mail that your cast is ready, guys, if you have the money in the bank, set yourself for proof of funds. Now, I'm going to make a video on proof of funds as you I'm going to take my time, give the details so that you don't make error with proof of funds. You, your proof of funds, yes, your proof of funds, you don't need to touch the money. So you set it going. <clears throat> then, uh, before, I will always tell people based on my experience. You don't wait, you don't need to wait till after 28 days before you start applying for visa. As soon as you check your pocket, you have the money, you have the money for your IHS because it's the money. Oh, Nikoko, you have the money, you have the money for your visa, you have the money for IHS. You can start applying when your pro funds is like around the 22nd day. I can even tell you, depending on the period to which you're applying, if you're applying during the peak period, guys, start applying from the 20th day, then yes, there's no way for you to pick the day of your choice. And so that you don't um, end up subscribing to premium lounge, a lot of things that you don't want to, or assisted services, yes, because if you do it on time, then if you do it on time, you can now opt for assisted services that you are putting your documents yourself that's assisted services you are putting your documents on the site of tls yourself you don't need their aid because i guess that comes with the charge yes because if you omit a document just a document you pay for it you pay for their assisted services so you need to take your time upload all your documents that's if you don't have enough money but me i did assisted services but in my husband's case, sorry, in, my, in me, I did, uh, I did, I used their services. But in my husband's case, he did assistance. Uh, he has, no, his own uh, services. Like uh, me, I did assistance services. He, he did by himself. So and other applications thereafter, we did it by ourselves. So, but for me, I didn't want to take chance at all because I was tense at that moment. So because my my application was just too fast. So it was just too fast. My proof of form was only like 30 days here. Yeah, and so I had to subscribe to a lot of things, premium lounge, premium lounge and all that. So based on my experience, I will tell you from the 20th day, you start <coughs> doing your applications. You start making your applications so you can make it choose a date and time of your choice and all that. Depending on the time again, I told you. Then I made a video on... um the um, TLS office to choose well we have we have um two three visa centers in Nigeria we have one in Abuja we have two in Lagos there's one in Koi and one in Lekki so you make sure you watch the video on the the, um, the visa centers and what is peculiar with them yes then I did mention to you that for IAM that's where your tuberculosis is. Oh, I didn't mention. So once your your cast is ready, sorry. So let me take you back. So once your cast is ready, yes, now you know your your worker don't get head. 
<laughs> Once you know your cat has been, then you know you are set for the journey. Then you go to IOM center for TB test. We have two IOM centers in Nigeria, <clears throat> just two. One in Nigeria, one in Abuja, and one in Lagos. I don't know the country you are watching me from. So, but you need to check your phone. You need to browse the one closer to you. Yes. So, you just go to the center and do your tuberculosis test. Very easy. If you are going with a kid, you will not even waste time. <laughs> yes. Everything about children in this UK uh, cry. Very, very sweet. <laughs> they have ref preference for children. Yes. So, if you are going with your kids, no, you're not going to waste time. But if you're going alone as an adult, you may waste may not, not, not really. They are very, very snappy. And the, the test will not take you long. It not, doesn't take anything from you. They're not going to take your blood sample. So they will just, they will just go there. They will just check your nasal cavity. They'll just check your lungs. You understand? And that's it. So if you have any illness, maybe say you have any, they will reveal it to you. Maybe any around the chest region, they will tell the doctor. They are very friendly. If you have TB, they will tell you. They don't. They, are, they don't scare people. They are very nice people, very friendly people. They can sell you before and after. So once your test is ready, you are go good to go. You have your certified certificate. Now the cost. The cost varies because the cost. My the the price. My husband. The, the amount my husband paid during his own. Not the same i pay for my kids and myself so the cost varies you know everything now they have money <laughs> so it's not their fault so now so if i tell you the cost now it may not be what it may not be what you pay when you get there so i paid around 50 something thousand myself so you just check the net it's not just us have around the range you just check the internet I am center in your country or around you, you get it there, you get it right there. So at this moment, I know if you have watched my video up to this moment, you like the video, you like my content, please take a moment, like, and subscribe. A lot of you will watch my videos, you will like, you will subscribe. I have a video I made 1000 and something views as, as at this moment, only how many people liked it. And this one will even send me comments. They want me to comment. They want me to comment. They want me to comment. They want me to share. And I will still share my view. <laughs> so but then it won't take you anything. That means you like you liked what I said. It won't take you anything to subscribe. Help me grow. Just punch click on the like um the like to encourage me. This video I'm making it in the midnight. I have to wait till my kids will sleep, go to bed before I make my video. So you know, you know the stress and all that. So just encourage your girl, encourage me to grow. Thank you, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, thank you so much. Then the next, I told you before your proper phone gets to twenty eight days, you start your your this thing sharp sharp sharp. So because you only have twenty eight thirty one days, so you don't waste money. Some people will have to wait. In my own case, I had to wait. So I ran my proper phone for like forty days. Before I went to uh, before I went to Taylor Center, so you just you just I just give you the expo now, <laughs> so you start it. So so and your pull of form must not exclude thirty one days. You are not going to go to the uh, you are not going to go to a TLA Center with anything more than thirty one days, please. Another thing I need to stress is that they don't do interview based on a lot of people, even the people the clients have spoke with spoken with they don't do interview they just go they take your biometrics i don't know if the uk they have we change their pattern so because the the tls office they work for the, the um uk VI. so they go they take your biometrics they ask you your date of birth and that's it that's good to go they don't take they don't really take your time they don't waste your time what did i like about the uk everything is just go everything goes well swiftly once you have your documents you are there are no fake you okay, don't like fake documents so then we don't waste much of your time then it starts then um then you know i'm sure you know everything about proper funds if you're going with if someone is sponsored maybe 
um, the government is sponsoring you or anybody you have to know if they're sponsoring you to get that or just you alone then now if you are in the uk and you want to study and you want to have dependents if your dependent has stayed in the uk for more than 24 months this is i checked the uk um the uk gov dot com i checked their website you see information then you don't need to get proof of funds for your dependents that have stayed in the uk for more than 24 months yes so that's it you see very easy they wanted to go to school because they know yes you're in the uk you have a way you, you you've been fending so you have a way you can you'll be taking care of yourself so you have a, you you know a way you can help yourself so that's it guys at this moment you are there your your visa application let's say you have gone for a parametries you look good you smell nice all those tell people just look good smell nice at least somebody will go to school. Somebody will say you get millions. <clears throat> look it, guys. Look good. Smell nice. You don't need to bother. You can wear casual wear. You can even wear this. Yeah. But look good. Don't look tattered. Look like someone who is going for an interview. The way you dress is the way you are being addressed. That's the way you've been, you've been treated. So look good. Smell nice. Be polite. Very, very polite. Don't be harsh, don't be rude. Approach everyone. If you have that, if you say you have the money, plenty money, please just calm down. Hmm? So you calm down. Be calm. Sometimes they give SIM card. Some people say they don't give SIM card. But me, I was given a SIM card, a liberal SIM card. So they will give you a SIM card. Then in Abuja, they give us SIM card. And the inception, as you just come in. They will give you a SIM card before you go in. They give you a UK SIM card. Are you see card? Eh? <laughs> that SIM card helped me. So you just you I use the SIM card for like a month. Free data. I didn't buy free. You make your call. So that says. So so if they don't give you, you may ask, but ask politely. If they don't have it there, so you just go. No the SIM card carry your call. <laughs> so you just go for your, you just go for your bar metrics. Then Let's assume you don't know matrix. Bravo. Then you'll be waiting for a decision. Now you can track your you can track your your visa. You can track your application. Yeah. They have the app there in the TLS office site. TLS site. So you track your your you don't need to wait in oblivion. You can track your application to know from the first day they will say it has left. <laughs> It has left the visa center. It has gone to whatever. When it gets to that DFC, I mean, decision making center. Oh boy, that's where you need prayers. <laughs> so that's where the decision is being made. At that point, that's where you get. I always tell people, at that point, that's where you get approval, denial, or NSF mail. <laughs> now, I made a video about NSF mail. So do. Ensure you watch that video before you even start your application. A lot of that video, a lot of people watch that video. People are still watching the video. <sighs> yes, some people send me mail like, thank you so much for the video. I watched the video and my visa was approved. Because we were sent NSF mail. So it's a life experience. I'm not telling you anything far-fetched. <laughs> so once you have been sent NSF mail, I mean, guys, that's not their, their sentence. It happens to those who have left school for a long time. I so just go watch that video. You need to watch that video. It's a short video, but very enriched video. You would like to see that video. Just watch it before you even go for any visa application, please. I beg you. So any any sort of visa application, watch that video so you don't get NSF mail. NSF mail can take you off your feet. So, <laughs> so you get NSF mail or you get a decision once. Is there in that DNC? I think it's the third icon there. <laughs> Badura Dada. So once you are done, my day, once you are submitted your decision, who oh, are made the alpha and omega, you don't need to but panic yourself. You don't need to bother yourself. You just go pray. God, there's nothing God cannot do. Yes, once you are you are genuine and the Lord the Lord asks you to go wherever you want to go to God we do it. 
So you just go there. It's there in the DMC decision making center. So you just have to keep an eye on your meal. Yes. Some people will say, I didn't know when they sent me any self meal, and just like that, they denied me visa. Keep an eye on your meal. You may get an appointment, approval mail telling you to come and pick your tra traveling documents. You may get NSF mail. Yes. So you would, they won't tell you denial until when you get your document, you receive approval or denial. Then your NSF mail, then you will not know what to do. <laughs> you can seek the assistance of anyone. At this point, I introduce you Pageant Travel Center. So they are good. They will help you through your admission process, everything, just for your token. Remember, I told you in this UK, if you want to come to the UK, this UK journey, you need somebody. You need to, you need to, you need some, you need people. You can't do it alone. Because you need to, because rules are changing, things are changing. You need to need someone who is in the UK, or someone who has been in the UK, or someone who knows everything, like at least virtually things are happening in the UK. You can't just do this thing in the dark. No, no, no. You need someone to put you through. So, if you are not sure of yourself, if you are not sure of yourself, you can make use of an agent. Patient travels, they won't charge you much. They will give you what you want. Yeah. Then, as I, lest I forget, for your visa application, you need to study the everything, study the process, even if an agent did it for you. You need to ask them because you need to be carried along because when you get to the point of entry, I also, I also made a video on point of entry. When you get to the point of entry, you will be asked certain questions. And if you don't know them, you may be sent back. So the person who is doing your visa application should brief you or should tell you everything that he or she had imputed there in the app. Is very 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 important. So guys, let's go back to our DMC. Your day at the DMC. <laughs> your your visa is out. Your your your, your doc travel document is out. So it's come up pink. So the icon will go down. So that your traveling documents your is it TLC or so TLS or so is back to TLS. There are five icons there. So you just study them. So once you get to DSC, you know that DMC that's where the decision is being made. Sometimes they will tell you they will ask you for another proof of funds. Yeah. They will ask you for another proof of funds. Yes. Some clients, yes. Some clients application at that point they will ask you maybe if, if your visa if your application has stayed long. They will ask you for another proof of funds. Then you need to know the window period, guys. We have the the standard visa, standard visa, which is three weeks, three weeks minimum of three weeks. They will say minimum. Some people are lucky; you may get your visa before three weeks. While some it may linger, depending on the condition of your application. Yes, as you see, if you need to reply to any self mail, it may stay more than three weeks. But as is has been said on the website is three weeks for standard visa then priority visa is priority visa is five days five working days so super priority that one on the bronge that one is just 24 hours 24 hours as 24 working day that's 24 hours in a working day that's it must be a working day so if you do it, I don't know, but that's what we I saw on the website. Twenty four hours, the visa should be out. So, but again, there is a clause attached to it that your visa may stay longer before it comes out if there is a, if there is any need for you to submit additional documents or for you to reply to any NSF mail or reply to any mail, and they won't balance, they won't pay you back your money. Yes. So, why won't you just get prepared before applying for visa? You need to watch videos like this. You need to watch my videos. You need to watch other people's videos. Watch videos. Get knowledge. Burn your data. Watch the video. It's better you give your time. Burn your data. Get what you want. And that's it. And don't let the trauma of uh, the denied me visa come upon you. Because that is very, very traumatic. So, guys. So, super priority. That, that's my checked. Is one thousand pounds additional 
it's not just open to everybody super priority is 1000 pounds extra priority is 500 pounds standard visa is just the visa fee you don't pay any other thing then i didn't mention walking walking that's like you can come anytime to the tailor's office the zero zero what they write on the working is zero 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 time anytime you want to come for your application that's for your interview biometrics at the tailor's office you can actually come that's working you pay additional fee for that why some people want to come at the stipulated time the tailor's office gives them give them don't kill your stone bother yourself if you cannot come at that time when maybe say it it will clock and you are running late but then try to come early just trying to be earlier that's what i would just tell you you don't know what will bring you down but then i see, I still see some people who go a bit later than the time they give them and their visa still comes out so but then try to come go earlier yeah so one thing i would need to tell you people is that you don't need to book flight some people say ah, i need to book flight before <gasps> let me get you flight don't do it please you don't know when your visa will come out. <laughs> you don't know if you they will summon you with NSF mail. So don't book flight, please. So just wait till that visa comes out, then you book flight. Then you will know when to book flight. It's not any time. It's not just any time you book flight to get cheap flight. You know when to book flight, yeah, and get cheap flight. So then a lot of people will ask me. Um, would you do I need to get accommodation before coming to the UK? Well, no, no, not strictly. Yes, it's not there in the website that a student must get accommodation before coming to the UK. My husband needs to get an accommodation before coming to the UK. Yeah, I always, I always give you practical examples so you know. And have so I like giving my keeping my things real. He didn't get an accommodation before coming to the UK, but he, he like he didn't pay. That's like what I mean. He did pay for accommodation for coming to the UK, but then he had him. He had somewhere he, he would stay. So if you have a family, if you have a family where you want to stay in the UK, you have a friend that wants to house you, you have somewhere you want to stay, or you just you have you have a clear way you want to stay, you can just come, come to the UK. So you don't need to. So you don't. If you are not sure of the landlord of paying money to the landlord or the agents, so because you are scared of scam and all that, but then it's not there in the UK, or they don't do that in the UK. So you cannot pay, then come when you come, you pay, or you make arrangements with them when you come, you don't pay for your rent, they will not show you how <laughs> if that's what you want. So, but then it is not a must that you must pay your rent fee before you come. To the UK, but then it is nice you have an accommodation before you come to the UK because this country is quite cold, cold can can hang out, yes. So guys, so guys, we're coming close to the end of the video. I'm sure you have liked this video. If you have watched to this point, you will really like the video. So once the visa is out, they will call you. You may call. You may if you opted for DHL, that's courier services. They will send your visa, your passport to your, your residence or wherever you ask them to send it to. <clears throat> if you're actually applying for your children, or you you're actually applying and they, you are applying for children and not there with your children. Yes, you're applying for your children and not there with the children. Um, they will not give it to anybody. They will not give your your passport to anybody. They will send that. They will send their passport to your residence. Yes. So you just need to know this. You just need to prepare money for DHL. Maybe you are sending your children and your spouse is not there. Maybe you are somewhere. You want them to come and join you. Now, as a student, as a PhD student, then you you need to opt for DHL as a career services. So, but on your normal ground, you can opt for DHL services. DHL will bring your passport to your doorsteps. There you have your passport. You are ready to travel. <laughs> At this point, I will tell you congratulations. <laughs>
you are not a UK resident. Oh my dear. When I saw my oh when I saw that I got the, the, the approval, I was so happy. <laughs> so no worry, it's be a portion. So the first the visa we out. Then you cannot book for, immediately. You cannot book for flights. Book for flights, cheapest flights, going to the UK. There you go. You are there in the UK. Woo! Then again, if you are coming, if you are coming, don't forget to keep those documents you used for your application in your bag. Keep them handy. Oh, lest I forget, if you're coming with your dependents, you know, this is it's coming from my brain. <laughs> If you're coming to dependent, you're applying, you want to apply back to application. If you're applying for a dependent visa, please, you have to get approval. Your marriage document is not enough. Alone is not enough. It's, yes, it's important, but it's not enough. Get pictures from line, online, get pictures to, to, together from social media, old pictures, marriage pictures. You need to watch my video. There's a video I made on that. Watch that video. Yes, you need to get a clip. You know, give them, give them enough proof that this person are my child. This person is my child. So, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you. I'm so just happy because I know you're going to like, share, subscribe to my channel. You're going to get lots more videos, lots more videos, enriched videos, I bet you. I make a lot of research before I come up here to tell you anything. So, you can send me mail send me mail if you want me to give you advice you can drop your comment there i'll get to reply to your comments i know i'm busy life in the uk here yeah, is not easy <laughs> so then i will still reply to your messages your comments and all that thank you bye see you other time